Yo homes, welcome back to the channel and this is another Photoshop tutorial and in this tutorial I will teach you how to change the clothes in a photo with another clothes and make a mock-up of the clothes you are trying to promote. So let's begin. Before we begin with the proper tutorial, let me just give you an idea about where you might need it. As you can see there is a photo of a model modeling one of the clothes for the designer or designer sub and we need to create another one which is modeling a different cloth because uh, due to the pandemic situation photo shoot of that cloth wouldn't be possible and in some other cases in your case suppose you need a cloth that you don't you cannot afford a model and you have a stock photo so you can use the photo of the cloth and the stock photo of some other cloth and merge them together using this technique. So let's begin with the process. Now for the first step is to categorize the parts of the fabric is wearing, I mean the model, the photo you are using and, and with which parts of the fabric of the one the photo you will be placing it with and that categorize those parts for example uh, okay i don't know what the name of this part is but the down part of the fabric is the wear you are starting with so using the you will be cropping out that part of the photo from the photo of the complete fabric once you identify the right part of the uh, source with the right part of the replacement you will be putting it, resizing it in the right place and using the transform tool to transform it in the right size and form. Uh, usually I go for masks but for this kind of works masking will uh, simply increase the work and you don't have to be non-destructive so uh, we'll just trade out crop out the parts and uh, the tool I usually use for that is the polygon lasso tool the shortcut is L and uh, it is a tool for using out the parts you don't need do keep one copy of the part untouched so that you can use it uh, in multiple places and get back to it in case the one you are working on doesn't work out well and you have to replace it so and also the transform for transform team the shortcut is command plus t on mac and control plus t and on windows and uh, a good way to transform is to have the command key pressed while you drag the corners the anchor points you can see while selecting the parts always be uh, smart about which part it is using and use a photo of the fabric you are placing with as close as possible to the one the model is wearing like in terms of uh, shape and form not colors and all you will be replacing it and uh, the copy paste process the shortcut is command c in and command v in windows and command c and command v sorry control c plus control v in windows and uh, before while that we will be creating a new layer every time you copy paste it and uh, the shortcut for new layer is command shift n in mac and control shift n in windows the, uh, there's one tip that you can keep in mind that is use the transparency at your advantage like while you are working on one layer above the other and you are uh, working on the shapes you don't have to be perfect on the internal parts because you simply can replace the shadows and lights etc based on the new fabric condition over the old one and for the outer shapes it has to be as close as possible so that you can take advantage of the background properly and just uh, while working on the layer increase uh, lower your opacity to somewhere around or below 50 percent so that you get uh, you can uh, check the layer just below it and don't have to hide and unhide the layer again and again and once you are at a satisfactory level just increase the opacity to 100 percent and we are good to go for the next time 
and one good tip that I can give you is using mask not for individual layers but uh, since we will be having many layers in this process and you can just group one section of the layers for one section of the favorite that is uh, that forms one to three part on itself and just mask the entire group so that you don't have to erase out every single layer for its individual perfections in the outline and uh, the masking is pretty simple so select the part you want to mask i'm using the polygon lasso tool and once you have created a group the shortcut is command uh, so shortcut is selecting the layers you want to group and hit command g in mac or control g in windows as you can see g for group uh, and then to select the group and just click on the mask option from the lower right corner of your interface just in the just below the layer panel Once you have the shapes and overall structure ready, it's time to add uh, shadows according to the composition. And for that, the best option is to uh, use another layer just for the shadow. Set the blend mode on multiply. You will have the blend mode on normal by default. Just click on the menu and uh, click send it to multiply. You will get the option just above the layers panel and then put on the uh, shadows with the cross the shortcut is b and control the opacity of the overall layer if needed you might have to end up creating more than one layer for that and if there are a lot of layers you end up creating for this just make a group of shadows and control the opacity in more. In some cases, the transform tool on itself might not be enough and you will have to use the wrap tool. Uh, the wrap tool is pretty simple on activating I mean. Once you have the transform tool active after selecting a layer command T or control T, then you will get an option of the wrap tool just uh, on the options uh, for the transform tool. Once you activate it, you will get the wrap option activated and then you don't need to press command or anything for uh, adjusting the anchor points. Mm -hmm. With the wrap tool, you will be making the minor changes that transformation tool on itself cannot be. Uh, you will get better at it with a bit of experience. Just use your eyes to judge how good you can do. There might be some parts of the clothes which is uh, semi-transparent or transparent and replacing them with something new is most cases unnecessary what you can do is just adjust the hue of that part with uh, according to the rest of the fabric that says wearing and that's good enough in this case the dupatta says wearing yes i know but this is good uh, uh, the dupatta says wearing is transparent and orange is red we need it to be yellow for that the tool we will be using is the hue and saturation tool and we will be using a specific setting of it to adjust the color better so in the hue and saturation tool use the uh, first use the hue you want to change using the mm -hmm. eyedropper Tool. Once that's selected, in this case, this is the audience. We will adjust the hue and saturation and put a clipping mask, uh, put a mask on the layer. 
and as you can see it's a uh, good enough to pretend like we are part of the same it's good and uh, reversing the mask is very simple just select the mask and press command plus i in mac or control plus i on windows so that's how it works Hey everyone, thank you a lot for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and it will be useful to you. Do so subscribe for more. There is already quite a few more on the channel and there will be more coming. Hit the bell notification to stay up to date. Check the description section for useful links.